Hi, in this video I'm going to walk through the process of installing the required compiler for this course. Now there are different compilers you can use for Java. Well, let me log back in. Different compilers you can use for Java and uh, CO116, but all of our videos that we'll be doing and using require um, will be shown using JGRASP. So this is a, um, the one that we suggest because it's easy to install and get started programming. And we're going to see how easy it is to install. So I'm just going to go to the inquire, uh, install, installing required software and files. And for your um, information, I'm going to read through these instructions. I haven't installed it on this computer yet, so we'll see um, any you know, we'll go through the whole process together so you can follow along on your computer. So we need two different things. First of all, we need the JDK. This enables us to run and create programs, and it's based on the different version of Windows that you're running. Um, they also have it, well, actually, on, um, on Macs, you don't need the JDK. On Apple systems, you don't need JDK, only on Windows. So you install the 32-bit or 64-bit. Most systems are 64-bit. So let's go out to this website and see what, uh, where this takes us. Uh, let's try to open in a new... Well, that's not a link. See why we're doing this together. Okay, I really would like to open that in a new tab, so let me go ahead and change that. Open in a new tab. I'll change that so it opens automatically in a new tab for you. <clears throat> okay, here's the JDK, so I'm going to click on JDK download. Now I probably already have JDK. I already I probably already have the JDK installed, but we'll go through the process anyway. Um, you have if you don't have it or if you're not sure, install it. Like I I'm not sure if I do, so I'm going to do it no matter. I'm going to do it anyway. But you need that in in addition to JGrasp. So um, go through this process as well. I'm going to accept my license agreement and I'm going to pick the. Um, operating system that I have. I have a Windows 64-bit um, system. 86 is the 32-bit. Uh, oh, there is a Mac OS and Linux systems as well. I'm going to pick 64-bit and I'm going to save the file and then install it. I'm using Firefox and if you download something we just let it download and then I'm going to just open the folder where it is and go ahead and install it. Well, copy that link so that I can refresh that. Oh, let's let me pause for a second while we're downloading. Okay. My download is finished, so I'm going to click on my arrow and open up my download folder. This is just where I downloaded it to. And I'm going to double click JDK Windows 64 um, bit. And yes, I want to install it. So just let it go through the process. Okay. Next, next. Install, install. While that's running, um, why pa let's see, I'll, I'll pause it if it, keep, if it takes a while. But I want you to get an idea of ooh, what's going to happen. By the way, I'm running Windows 8 on my computer. It works with um, different operating systems. And most of you on newer systems, unless you built it or it's really an older computer, most of it, most of what you'll need is the 64-bit, unless of course you're running Mac or Linux. And then pick the appropriate one. 
Now while that's going through, in the meantime, I did um, change this so that this link goes right out to um, open up a new page and then accept the license agreement and then pick um, the one you want. So it goes right to the JDK. Java Development Kit is what the JBK, JDK stands for. So we're good there. Now let's just check our what's going on here. Okay. I want to install it to the default folder. And it is installing. This is my pretty desktop. In the meantime, I'll multitask. Organize things. Oh, here's a picture of me at graduation this past year. These are with some distinguished colleagues. Nice picture. Huh? Throw that in the trash, too. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, get back to this. Okay, so we are done. The next step, it was successfully installed. Awesome. We don't need to look at the tutorials or anything. We're just going to close it and go back to our website. Okay, so we did step one. I can close these. Now we're going to go ahead and install JGRASP. And we can go right out here. Let's read what we have. A Windows self-extracting executable. These are easy to run. So we have tutorials that are also available. Um, let me open this in a new tab because I'm not sure if the link is that or not. Uh, but this is just a description of what it is. Um, we're going to use it for Java development, but you can use it for multiple other um, programming languages. Um, and supposedly it's an easy to use compiler. Now I say that we've used Eclipse in the past, which I liked as well. Um, you can use any compiler, but like I said, we're going to use this. So we'll go out here and let's look for our download page. I just saw it, but I'm just scrolling through to see if there's something else. Again, this is the first time I'm downloading and installing mine. Um, system. So to run and install, you'll need JDK. Check. We did that. And um, I want to just kind of skip that stuff if I can. I don't think I need it. Oh, let's see. Which one should we download? JDK. Oh, we might have to fill it out. Runs on your computer. Okay, 2.0.0.11. Yeah, that's probably the best. Two point tutorials. No, I don't really want to run beta because it was just released two days uh, yesterday. Um, this was a month ago. Alpha, not beta. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to pick this one, JGrasp EXE. If you're feeling adventurous and you want to do the one that was just released, have at it. So let me save this file. That's downloading pretty quickly. I didn't have to fill out any of this stuff. Yay! I have enough junk. And let me open up where I've installed that to or where I've downloaded it to. So, I'm going to double click on JGrasp and Okay, let's get this installation going. Next. I agree. Oh, I do want a desktop shortcut because I'll be using this compiler all the time, every day, just like you. Um, yes. Okay, we're just going to go through our, we're using it for Java, so I'm not going to use C++, C++ or header files or I'll just leave the default extensions and hit install pretty quickly. Finish. Here's my icon. Let's see what wonderful things happen when we open this up for the first time. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'll allow it to run. And oh, this is interesting. Here are all my files. Okay, 
Now I will create a new video for when we start creating a program. In fact, let me just close that so you don't have to see all my personal things. But I guess it doesn't matter. I'm an open book. Uh, what we would do is create File, New, Java Program. There we go. Let's do a save. Now when we are going to start this, I'm going to um, just start us off in the right on the right path and create a folder for my programs. So I'm going to leave mine in, oh, I'll leave mine in Documents and let's see, Create New Folder. Whoops, I created two. Only had one cup of coffee this morning. I'll delete it later. Double click. I'm going to rename it to CO116 Programs Fall 2014. There. So all my programs are going to go into here. And, well, I don't want to call this first program because we're going to do it. We're going to go through a program together, but um, sample one. And then hit save. And we're ready to start coding. All right. I'll hit save and close this out. And I could open this up again. Boy, this they are not lying. This compiler is simple to use. We should have no problems installing. Okay, here's all my programs. You'll notice that Java files have a .java extension. This is our code file. This is the file that you're going to turn in for grading. And we have no code yet, but we'll do that in our future videos. So this week, what you want to focus on boom, is um, installing these two things so that we're ready to run. Uh, you can also install or download these to your CO116 folder. Uh, we may use these um, as the semester goes on. These are uh, uh, code files from the textbook that will help you understand how to code. So you can download those as well. They're just zip files with Java extensions. Great. I look forward to um, working with you this semester. Um, this video is, you've already found it, but we'll have more videos in the learning modules, and I'll work on making those uh, today and this week. Have a great day.